My name is Carla. I am one of the owners at Bing's Bakery and I manage the operation from end to end. Before the show, these past eight years, it's always been a struggle. We had a lot of overhead. We have customer flow, but we had a lot of overhead taking away a lot of the cash flow that we had. Hard to pay the bills with that. Before the show, the work environment was pretty hectic. Every day we were always busting our butt to get product out. We were putting a lot of product out every day. Business was decent before the show um, and had it ups and had it downs. I uh, didn't enjoy coming in as much before. We knew that Buddy could help us out here at Banks because his experience, his exposure, things he's been through, that he has to tame in a large industry uh, overhead and keep it working and make it profitable for him that he'd be able to take that experience and deliver here to Banks. Hi, Buddy. Hello. How are you doing? How are you? I was here when Buddy came in to do the taste testing, and it was nerve-wracking. Why don't you give me your favorite? My favorite is the glass set. I thought he wasn't going to like anything. Actually, I like it. But he did like the thing that I claim is a 10. He liked the glass set. When Buddy came here and he started tasting our product, and he liked most of the things we had, and he had a lot of good things to say, it made me feel very proud. So how many different kinds of cheesecake do you have? In that case alone, you have the plain raspberry chocolate swirl, he has a brownie, and then he has apple. Well guys, I just want to let you know that I only tasted a small percentage of everything you have because you have a huge selection. If you don't stop making all this stuff every day, guess what? You're gonna be out of business. When he told me that I was making too much variety and too much stuff, I was expecting that probably, that's what I thought that we hear from him. It, it kind of bothers you whenever you get critiqued, but I was actually pretty happy about it that it was going to make us be able to focus now and help us keep more of our overhead down. When Buddy came in, he gave us some advice to cut some of the product down, and it shows that we don't actually waste as much as we did before, which is good for us, so we're making profit instead of losing profit. Since Buddy's came, we've cut down a lot on the product, and now, rather than putting out a lot of product that's just not selling, we decrease the numbers and we're putting out what sells. You got 16,000 kids less than a mile away. That's a huge opportunity for business here. What else do you think we can do to draw these college kids in? Well, maybe we can do something with different types of coffee. I think a black and white could be appropriate if it's in the university colors. Now That'll we're talking. Good. My favorite item that is on the new menu, thanks to Buddy, is the blueberry and lemon cake. It is a checkerboard cake, and it reminds me of the university colors. I think it's going to be a really big seller. We're making every effort to reach the university students. They've been coming in. It's very encouraging to see, and we hope we can continue to uh, have that momentum going on. We have new customers coming in that have never been here before. They're trying out the new product. A lot of students that I've never seen here before are coming in and they're purchasing all the different cupcakes, coffee, big hit. The overall feeling when you walk in the door, a lot of customers are saying it's like sunshine, like it's inviting, it's open. Me and my brother, we realized you know, how hard my mother and father was working. We realized it was time that we had to step up and take a little weight off of their shoulder. We're getting older now, so it's, it's time just to uh, step into reality a little bit. This whole experience has definitely inspired me to just be a better baker and just try everything I can be to be successful and own this place one day. My goal is to pass the business on to my sons. It's important to have a legacy because um, for me personally, when I was growing up, it was very difficult. Uh, we were very poor, um, and I've always strived that I'd like to leave something for my children. So what better to leave them than a legacy of Bing's Bakery? It's in the town, it's important to the town, it's important to the community, and um, it's one of the promises that I made to Mrs. Bing.